Um, so welcome to the session, guys. Uh, so as was mentioned, I'm here to take you through our keynote session for how to turn you into an innovation survivor. So this session is all about how do you literally outthink, outlast, and outwit each and every one of your competitors in the pursuit of innovation and growth, uh, which I think might be interesting because some of your competitors may even be in the room. So hopefully you're not sitting next to them because I'm going to get you chatting about how you can apply some practical tools for these types of thinking onto your business and your team straight away. So uh, welcome to the afternoon session, graveyard shift. So appreciate you all turning up towards the end of the session. Uh, I think I heard some like doof doof music coming from my hotel room at like 11 o'clock at night. I don't know if that was you guys partying a little bit too late. So thank you for coming on. Uh, so what I'm going to take through now, as I said, I've got five practical tools. So some things that you can start applying straight away. So without any further research, without any further application, something you can do straight away in your team and in your organization to make you a better innovator yourself and also to pay it forward to your teams so they're being more innovative as well. A little bit about me, had a great introduction from Warwick, which was great, but just to build on that to tell you what, what sort of brought me here today to talk to you about best practice science-based innovation. So when I was a, a little kid, I was fascinated with building things and like figuring out how stuff worked. Uh, so much so I entered an invention competition when I was in primary school. And when you're seven years old, you don't really have that many things to solve. Um, but one of my problems was that my mum would always interrupt me and my sister when we were playing to help her find her glasses. Does anyone have anyone in their family that always loses their glasses? Is anyone that person? Yeah, okay, yeah, we've got a few. All right, so this invention is for you. Um, so what I ended up solving is I put a uh, rel relatively new tech at the time, I put a tracking device on her glasses frames and then a finder button on her car keys. So anytime she lost her glasses, she just had to press this button and then her glasses would flash and they'd make a beeping sound. So she could go throughout the house, find them herself. I ended up winning the competition at my local primary school. Thank you. Yes, my greatest accomplishment today. Uh, and then my mum lost the car keys. So not so good. Maybe don't try that one. But I carried that love of invention with me through to my studies. So um, I wanted to, as cheesy as it sounds, build products and services and invent things that would make life better and easier for people. 